All right, now uh, we've gone over a few simple things, right? We've, uh, we've, we've converted parts and percentages to ratios, and we've used those ratios to calculate how many pounds of each component color to add to a mix to make so many pounds of ink, right? All right. But uh, if it were all that simple and that easy, that, that'd be lovely, but it's not that way. It's, it's a little bit more complicated than that. So what I think I want to do here is I'm going to create the simplest scenario that I think includes as much as possible combined of what you're going to run into when it comes to uh, blending and weighing colors and arriving at a formula, okay? So we're going to kick, kick it up a little bit here. It's going to be a little bit, uh, not more complicated necessarily, but more involved. But if we just go step by step, everything works out. And then, thankfully, at the end of the day, when we understand all the raw concepts and we've been punished, then we're going to develop a spreadsheet that we just enter a few variables in and does this for us, all right? But we have to learn it the hard way before we get the gravy of, of a tool that uh, we use to do this stuff. Okay. All right. All right. So let's. All right. So let's. Uh, let's let's create a real world scenario. Okay. All right. Now, here's the scenario. A customer comes and wants something that's very close to 185 red. We, we know it's not exactly 185 red, but we're, we're thinking this is going to be a good starting point. So we're going to have three colors involved in this mix. We're going to get away from the simple two color model, so we make it a little bit more complicated and we're going to do a couple of things along the way. We're going to take that uh, starting point and we're going to start to modify the ink, okay? And when we modify the ink, we're going to reduce the amount of ink that we start with for, that's returning from the press every time to make things even more complicated, okay? If it was as simple as all I did was add some black or blue and then I added some more and I added some more and we knew how much that was that we added to the formula, we could do the math. But here, we're going to add a third color, try it, come back from the press with less ink and do that again and do uh, you know a couple of times and uh, complicate things a little bit more but we're going to control the numbers and at the end of the day we're still going to have the formula that we're looking for right all right so let's say that uh, we have a customer and the customer brings us their, this just happens to be something I, some junk mail that I got in the, in, in the mail all right and the customer says, you know, Frank, that is my logo right there. Okay, that's my logo right there. So I said, okay, that's the one you want to mention. Okay, so we come across and I said, you know what? That looks very close to 185 with something added to it. And uh, I say to myself, the customer doesn't need to know this. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm telling the customer, I'm going to get that color for you, okay? So now in the shop, we're looking at it and we're saying, you know what, that looks like 185 with something added to it. I don't know, maybe a little blue or something. So I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let's start with 185. Let's see how far from this the 185 is, and we'll, we'll, we'll work from there, okay? All right. So this particular press is a, uh, is a wide web press, and it takes five gallons to wet it, okay? It takes five gallons. So that's about 40 pounds. So we're going to do 40 pounds of, uh, of this ink. But actually, uh, since we're just doing a trial, let's say we're going to shoot for 30 pounds, okay? All right. So here we are. We're going to try to get this color. And we're going to go for 30 pounds of this color that's uh, similar to 185 red, but, it, but it's not exact, okay? All right. And we know that going into it, but we want to see what it looks like starting off. Okay. So if you remember what I told you the first time, if we want 30 pounds, now the ratios for 185 red is uh, 0.75 warm and 0.25 rubine. Okay? So we're just going to reinforce this, this math 
for some of us that need the privacy, right? All right. So these are the ratios. Now, if you remember, I told you, you just take the whole, when, when you decide, when you know the formula, and the formula we're going to end up expressing it in ratios, when you know the formula in ratios, you just start off by saying, I want so many, so much of, so much ink, and you multiply it by those ratios, and it tells you how much of each color. So in this case, 30 pounds. So 30 to figure out how much warm red is in there, I just multiply it by 0 0.75. Okay, so that's three quarters of 30. So where's my calculator? There it is. 30 times 0.75 equals 22.5. So I'm going to do 22.5 pounds of warm red. All right. And the ratio for rubin red is 0.25. So 30 times 0 0.25, whoops, 5 equals 30 times 0.25 equals 7.5 pounds of rubin. And if we did our math right, the 7.5 and the 22.5 should be 30 pounds, right? So we'll do a quick check, 22.5, 7.5, and indeed, that's 30 pounds, okay? So that works. So now we know that we're going to start off, we're shooting, we're shooting for 30 pounds of uh, 185 red just to start, and then we're going to add something to it. And to do that, we're going to add 22.5 pounds of warm red and 7.5 pounds of rubin red, okay? So now here's the thing. Uh, the, that, that bucket of ink goes out to the press, the operator sets up the machine, runs a job, and brings us a, a, a sample, okay? Lo and behold, it looks close, but we think that we want to put a little bit of reflex blue in there, all right? We just feel that way. By whatever method we arrive at that, now we may arrive at that in a, in a sophisticated way, like by using a spectral densitometer or something like that. Or we may just eyeball it and look at it and say, uh, hey, you know what, it looks to me like we need to add some reflex blue in there, right? By whatever means that we arrive at that decision, once we decide what we're going to do is add this third color in this scenario here, to us it looks like we're going to add some reflex blue, okay? But now, now here's the thing. And, and it looks to us like to the, to the bucket of ink that the operator has, we're going to add, uh, let's say, two pounds, okay? Two pounds of reflex blue. All right? All right, now here's where it starts to get a little trickier, but we're going to tame it and control it. 